I'm going to show you the basic setup of the JEP-R. First thing you want to do when you get your controller is set the time. You want to hold down the menu, enter the user settings, hold this down for 5 seconds. Okay, then you want to scroll up and down here. This will give you different options. First option is set time. The menu key will be the enter button. If you want to go back, hit the star button. So I'm going to set the time. I'm going to hit enter. It's 5.48 p.m. If you hold these arrow keys down, they'll scroll up and down slowly, but if you want to accelerate it, just hold it down and it'll move a lot faster. So let me go ahead and set the time here. Okay, I have the time set. Hit menu. There's other options in here. You can put a password. You can go into the language menu and you can change the language. Again, if you don't want to do that, just hit this button here, it'll take you back out. Remember the menu key is the enter. You can set two program schedule times in the JEP-R. The first one is the E-Star button. This is factory set at 1750 RPMs. Button 2 can be programmed at a different RPM speed. So let me show you how to set a run schedule. I'll do button 1 first, which is the E-Star button. So the first thing you want to do is push the button here. You'll see the RPM displayed. Okay, to set a run time for the E-Star button, go ahead and hit Menu. See where it says On Time. Hit Menu again. Set at 12 a.m. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to have this pump come on at 8 a.m. Let me hold this down until it gets there. Okay, then hit Menu again. This will be the Enter button. This will set the time to come on at 8 a.m. I'm going to scroll up here. Off time, hit menu. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to have it run all the way to 1 p.m. Let me hold this down again. Okay, hit menu to lock that in. This is very important. Go back to time clock. See where it says disabled? That means that it's not going to be running on a scheduled time. You want to enable it. Now it's set to run from 8 to 1. I'm going to hit enter to enable the time clock for the E-Star button. You would do the same thing for the second button here. So whenever your program is scheduled, you have to have that particular button running. So button two, I have to turn it on. It's gonna prime up. Factory set at 2750 RPMs. So again, you're gonna hit the menu button. Then you're gonna go ahead and put an on time. Set for 12 p.m. I'm gonna have the high speed mode come out at one. You can have programs overlapping. The last program will supersede the first one. Hit menu to enter it. Off time. I'm going to scroll down to 3 p.m. Make sure you hit the menu button, that way it locks it in. And again, go back to time clock and make sure you enable it, that way it's going to run. It's very easy to set the pump speed for button number two. As it's running, go ahead and hit the arrow keys up or down. This will raise or lower the RPM. Once you have it set to the desired RPM, hit the menu, and that'll be the RPMs that'll be running at that set program time. So that's how you set the scheduled run time for the E-Star and for button number two. Program number three and four is set at 2750 RPMs. These buttons are a specific duration run time. So for instance, button number four is a cleaner. Button number three is set for the waterfall. You can reset these run times on button three and four. You can also change the labels on these buttons. You can enter the user settings by holding down the menu. See where it says run duration? Go ahead and enter that. Waterfall is button number three. Hit enter. Set the run at no time. So you can set it to run at intervals up to eight hours. So buttons three and four are more like manual run times. You can also just turn on your E-Star or program number two at any time by pushing the button. It'll turn off at the schedule off time. You can also customize the labels. I'll show you how to do that. You enter the user menu by holding the menu down for five seconds. You want to scroll over to where it says label speed. Hit menu. Let's say you want to change the solar heat. Hit menu again. General. Scroll up to custom, hit enter, and now you can just use these arrow keys to change the letters. Hit menu to enter, and you can customize this label. 
can also set a password to lock the screen so no one else can access it. If you want to set a password, you can do it here. If you want to change some of the program defaults, you can enter the service menu. You want to hold down menu, the star button, and four for five seconds. This will be the service menu. So you can set the minimum speed here, which is 600 RPMs. You can raise and lower that now. You can also set the maximum. You want to also set the pump type. This particular pump runs at 3450 RPMs. This will give you the wattage display on the screen. You can also change it to a different pump. And here is the set E star speed. Go ahead and enter it. It's set at 1750 RPMs. If you want to lower it down or raise it up, you can do that right here in this menu. I'm going to lower it down to 1600 RPMs. Remember, hit menu to enter and set it. You can also change the priming speed. You can also change how long the pump primes for here. The priming speed is 2750 RPMs. And it runs for three minutes. Usually that's sufficient in most cases. That's the basic setup and programming of the JP-R. If you want to do some more advanced programming, you can refer to the owner's manual.